Let's take a moment to understand the basic operation of an automatic irrigation system. In most cases, the water for the homes in your neighborhood is delivered through a large capacity city water main. From the water main, a smaller capacity supply line connects to your home. To record the number of gallons flowing through this pipe and into your home, a water meter is installed. Somewhere between the meter and the house, another connection is made to supply water for your irrigation system. Next, a system shutoff valve is installed. This allows you to turn off the water supply to your irrigation system without affecting the supply to your home. Use it, for example, when working on a sprinkler system component that is under pressure or in the case of an emergency. Now, because the irrigation system is connected to the water supply entering your home, there is the potential for accidental contamination. To keep this from happening, a backflow prevention device must be installed on every system. It stops irrigation water from draining back into the main supply line. It can be a standalone backflow prevention device or valves that have a built-in backflow prevention feature. Local building codes will dictate which method can be used in your yard. After the water flows through the backflow prevention device, it is held under pressure behind the sprinkler system valve. When the valve receives a low voltage electrical current from the irrigation controller, the valve opens, allowing water to flow through to the sprinkler heads and onto the plant material.